we got this news courtesy again of over under which is really sad on one side of things but also understandable according to over and under and people on twitter i think uh, another guy shared the news first actually let's give the guy props a guy called fit dad ak so big up fit dad ak he originally shared this reportedly five new louis vuitton nike air force ones were approved for release but louis vuitton rejected the launch citing a shift in their menswear focus did you hear that five new louis vuitton air force ones were approved for release but louis vuitton rejected the launch citing a shift in their menswear focus so really sad for sneaker heads like myself and fans of shoes in general or virgil or off-white or whatever else or louis vuitton because those would have been pretty hard because i think those were some of the colorways that were featured in the exhibition that Virgil put on before he passed away or the one that just happened after he passed away the one where there was loads of unreleased um, samples of his work over the years with Nike and shit and there was a few colorways um, of the Air Force One that he did with Nike um, collaborate, uh, you know a dual, collaborate, a, a dual collaboration between Off-White and Louis Vuitton um, that never came out and I think some people were basically hypothesizing that they were going to come out later down the line um, and you know they were due to be released but it looks like Louis Vuitton rejected them and it makes sense right because at the moment Pharrell Williams is um, the menswear you know creative director over there at Louis Vuitton and if I'm not mistaken Pharrell Williams is still signed with Adidas and Pharrell Williams took over from Virgil after he passed so I can understand from a very cutthroat business side of things they don't want to stir up any old emotions or have people not think of the current Louis Vuitton uh, menswear um, under Pharrell stewardship and conf and kind of like long for the days of Virgil, which most people do. But they kind of want people, I won't say to forget about it, but they don't want you to kind of, rem you know, they don't want to bring it up now when they're trying to go in a new direction with Pharrell. So they have to make kind of really cut for decisions where they're like, you know what, they know it would flip and sell out. They know they would get a lot of money from it, a lot of free marketing, all that malarkey. But they probably think for the short term of what they're trying to do, it probably will take away the focus from what they're doing now with Pharrell. And most likely, there's also the possibility that Adidas could collaborate with Louis Vuitton, especially with Pharrell's, you know, partnership there. Um, because already, you know, Virgil was able to basically slap off white on the Air Force Ones and work with Louis Vuitton because he was working there and obviously the, the the nike connection which made the collaboration even more special right the fact that he was able to you know do something that a lot of customizers were doing for, for you know for not for free but they were doing illegally he was able to take that and kind of do it legitimately under louis vuitton and obviously slap his his own logo of his own brand off white on there must have been amazing right but that was something that kind of happened because of who virgil was so you can imagine nowadays maybe the possibility of Louis Vuitton collaborating with Adidas is probably a lot more possible because of the collection with Pharrell and the connection he has with Adidas. So I can see why they did it, but it is a shame though, because, you know, no one really gives a fuck about what Pharrell's doing with Louis Vuitton at the moment. So it would have been nice to have seen those designs come back out again. And if anything, you know, people are going to only care about what he does if he creates really good things. It's not because he's going to be, you know, blocking certain releases or things that's going to, you know make people think highly of what he's doing at louis vuitton i think he needs to kind of go back to what that first release was that first collection for louis vuitton and how great that was and how many people liked it and kind of try to recreate some of those feelings and that interest because so far you know we have, he hasn't really done that unfortunately so far going forward but i can understand why you know they blocked it i can understand but the sneakerhead in me wishes they would release them because i would have loved to have seen you know more colorways of these nikes because you know even now looking back at it it was quite unprecedented the scale that's something that you don't we don't get nowadays at all you know that's why we i think as a as a culture definitely miss fucking what's his face um virgil abloh and r.i.p to him just because of the amount of things he was able to produce his output was insane man his output was legitimately insane like all the collaborations like they're just like was so much product like he like enjoy like he's similar to like that's why i think virgil was very similar to like demna in that way demna always i get the feeling and he said in even interviews he's like a product person he just loves clothes he loves making shit so he can just keep he can just keep designing and 
you know, making collections and dropping things, you know, until the end of time. And I think Virgil was the same, just an idea machine. You give him an opportunity to make something, he's going to make it. And some of these brands, they love collaborations because it allows them to kind of tap into a new market and whatnot. And if you want to do a lot of work, they are happy to, you know, happy for you to do it. So I'm sure Nike would love if a lot more of their collaborations would entail having like, you know, 20 plus SKUs. But most people don't have 20 plus SKUs worth of designs in them. So they just take the one or the two because they're a bit risky or they're a bit scared. Virgil, you know, always better than himself, was always super confident, trusted in his ability. Like, okay, give me all the models. Give me all the models, man. I'll design all of them nonstop. Because most likely, if you were still alive today, I think you would have saw even more newer Nike models. He probably would have designed his own signature shoe somewhere down the line. On top of all the retros, you know? It's flipping crazy when you think about it. It's so much shit he was able to put out. So I would have loved to have seen a few more designs, you know, make its way, um, you know, during this collaboration. Um, some of the some of the designs are probably on here as well because I don't think all, none of I don't think all of these came out. I'm pretty sure. I don't think every single Nike Air Force One Off White collaboration on this particular sheet that somebody's holding. I don't think these actually all came out. I think only some of them came out. So I would have loved to have seen um a lot more of this from him. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been fucking great, but. I also understand from Louis Vuitton and uh, Pharrell's point of view, the last thing they want to do is like, you know, restir some of those emotions and distract from what's kind of going on with them um, currently now at the moment. So we kind of have to just, you know, unfortunately, we kind of have to just take that one on the chin and understand that this ain't coming back anytime soon. Unfortunately, it's not coming back anytime soon.